I'm a real estate agent. I'm just shooting like local stuff, you know. Hey guys, Paul Gillespie, Paul Gillespie and Associates. Today we are at Lock Raven Reservoir. I wanted to take a minute and tell you why we're here, a little bit about the location, and a little bit about the reservoir as well. This reservoir was established in the 1800s. You can see here it's 23 billion gallons of water, billion with a B. Um, it's also 303 square miles, which is it's absolutely huge. This is the drinking water for Baltimore City and surrounding areas. But today I wanted to talk to you about the market stats, but I wanted to do it in a fantastic location. As you can see here, um, beautiful reservoir. This is where people kayak and fish and all kind of different stuff. So let's talk about real estate for a minute. This month, about 4,000 homes went on the market in the Baltimore metro area. 10% of those were in Hartford County. The other 90% were in Baltimore, Baltimore City, and the other surrounding counties like Howard and Anne Arundel and places like that. Um, that was just new listings that went on the market this month. But if you look at the stats as a whole, they're pretty much flat. And what that means when they're flat is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a shift in the market. And we've been going through this shift. It's been teetering back and forth over the last 18 months or so. Um, it's some people say it's a buyer's market. It's a seller's market. Nobody really knows what's going on. But I'm here to clarify that for you. And the clarification is this. It's neither. <laughs> It might be shifting. Sometimes it shifts in certain neighborhoods to a seller, sometimes to a buyer's. It all depends on a specific situation. But either way, it's a fantastic market. It's a great, it's a great market to list your home because you know you're going to get a fair price. It's a great market to, to buy a home because you know you're going to get a fair price. That coupled with all the fantastic interest rates that, uh, my partner TJ Barker can offer, I guarantee that, uh, it, it is definitely an affordable time to purchase a home. But let's talk about the, the rest of the stats for a minute. When you look at days on market and you look at some of the flat stats across the board, I examined uh, Howard County, Anne Arundel County, Baltimore City, uh, Baltimore County, and Hartford County. And what I noticed was that uh, a lot of the shift uh, in days on market, the days on market is indicative of the health of the market. Let me start by saying that. So if you have an average of 90 days on the market and that's your benchmark and your home is listed for less than 90 in itself, then that's a good thing. As that average number drops down, that means the inventory is lowering. And when the inventory lowers, prices rise. Prices rise, it turns into a seller's market. So that's a little lesson on, on uh, real estate and how we look at our statistics. But anyhow, when you look at Harford County versus the other counties, what you'll see is you'll see a shift in momentum. You're going to see the days on market in Harford County for this, uh, for this month um, they're going to be a lot lower than the rest of the areas. And what that's doing is it's saying that a lot of people that live in the Baltimore City, Baltimore County area are migrating out towards the, the outlying counties, Harford County. And I, and I also saw the same thing happen in Howard County a couple months ago as, as well. So, you know, you're seeing the, the population kind of expand and push out from the, from the metro area, which is actually pretty interesting and, uh, a thing to, to observe from a statistical standpoint. So I hope that helped you guys. Those were your market real estate stats for the month. This is Paul with Paul Gillespie Associates. Thanks for stopping by. I know I stumbled a little bit on some of that, but I'm sure you'll fix all that because you are the man. <laughs>